hello friends and welcome back to my channel if y'all are new my name is jazz if y'all are not new then y'all know what's up all right we're gonna get right into this reading here for capricorn sun moon rising venus and jupiter signs you guys know you can check the description box below for information on my other two channels as well as information on how to book a personal reading so let's go ahead and get right into these messages capricorn we are going to tap right into these messages we split the deck we have spiritual abundance with energy healing and energy work i feel like a lot of you have been pulling from the spiritual realm spiritual sources in order to work through certain things that you guys have been dealing with dark forces uh shadow work energy right using utilizing the moon in order to help you illuminate these things here I feel like you guys have, are also, you know, prominently, look at this, low vibration with spiritual abundance. I feel like you guys are prominently being seen as healers at this time as well. Um, people pulling from your energy, pulling off of your energy. So just kind of take, um, take these messages as they resonate. You guys show us what we need to see for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, please, Spirit. new cycles new cycles capricorn a brand new book is opening up bottom of the deck here is soul tribe this is like new cycles within relationships or connections it's new cycles and relationships or connections here now these relationships or connections can be platonic they can be romantic they can be business or career um situated it doesn't really matter physical energy but this is happening in the 3d this is happening here in the physical realm this is happening here in you know the things that you can touch smell and actually see right i feel like you've gone through this time of spiritual work and now it's time for you to yeah now it's time for you to experience these things so you guys have west energy which is talking about psyche it's water energy also movement intuition energy and then setting your intentions i feel like now especially with this new moon in capricorn that's coming up on the 23rd i feel like now is the time to set your intentions excuse me capricorn um for what you want moving into the new year for what you want um as far as these new cycles are concerned here what you want moving forward chakra alignment uh throat chakra and the 3d followed by new moon energy so i i like to see this this is totally um bringing yourself to a place of what do i want what am i speaking into existence what am i telling you know the universe god my angels ancestors spirit what am i telling them that i want what am i telling them that i want right how am i setting my intentions here Show us what we need to see for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, please, Spirit. Show us what we need to see for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, please, Spirit. Show us what we need to see for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, please, Spirit. Capricorn way too many bottom of the deck here Queen of Wands energy moving in coming in super fast Capricorn we can see um, the things that you're creating the things that you're manifesting it's like this is where your energy is being focused here so what is it capricorn that you actually are trying to manifest or trying to create what is it look at this and bring into existence this is a gift this is something that you can share with others it's about giving to others Show us what we need to see here for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs, please. Okay. 
the world with the page of cups. I feel like for a lot of you, this is like a new psychic cycle. This is also a invitation um, of sorts. So for some of you, this I, they really wanted me to say psychic cycle, which was crazy. For some of you, this is a new psychic cycle. For others of you, this is... A brand new cycle in your life physically that's bringing you a lot of stability but it's coming from an offer of sorts show us more for Capricorn here please spirit Ace of Wands, Seven of Pentacles. This is like a long time. Like you've been trying to manifest whatever this is for quite some time here. I feel like there is definitely some, there is some gunk that you were holding on to that was keeping you from truly manifesting this into existence. I feel like not really accepting the truth of whatever that situation was, was keeping you from manifesting this into existence. But I do feel like this has been some sort of long-term long time manifestation trying to come into existence trying to to come forth as an offer for you for a lot of you you've been investing into something for quite some time and you're you're there's some sort of spark there's some sort of um It's like something finally clicks here with the Page of Cups, Ace of Wands. Show us more here for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, this is a new cycle here for you. This is something that you're doing different. This is some sort of invitation. Higher level of commitment energy moving things to higher ground. It's like physically this, this, this is how it's moving spiritually. It's also growing. This is something that's like a physical and spiritual growth related energy. And I also feel like this is something that you can expect to invest in for a, a, like a long period of time. And this invitation that comes in is very like, it's like a grand surprise. It's like not even surprise. It's just like a grand invite, grand invitation. It seems very big here. Tell us about the world and the Page of Cups here for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell us about the world with the Page of Cups for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, please. Mm-hmm. The Two of Cups. The Two of Cups. With the Queen of Cups. For a lot of you, this is blatantly a relationship that's being offered up to you there's this grand gesture of sorts yeah it's like it comes in very quick there's a gift this could even be a proposal like it and it's it's very grand and it's it's very like <sighs> surprising and over it, it's like overwhelming in a beautiful way like it feels really really good whatever this is because there's so much that that's going into whatever this is this two of cups energy this invitation this new cycle. Show us more here with the world, page of cups, two of cups. Bottom of the deck is the knight of cups. Absolutely, absolutely spirit followed by the chariot. Yeah, 
This is a major life cycle that is getting ready to start. And it's like somebody wants to celebrate this with you. It's almost like the ending and the beginning. And it, it's, it's the world energy is giving me something grand. It's like something is unified and ready to come together. It's like this is this is this per. Whew. It's just so much. It's 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 so much. It feels really good, Capricorn. Yeah, you have the Knight of Cups, the King of Wands, and the Page of Wands with the Ace of Cups. This is wow. This person is professing their love here in a grand way. They're doing something major and unexpected. For whoever this is, they are literally professing their love to you, Capricorn, in a grand and undeniable way. This is this is unlike anything I've ever seen before. And it's creating a new cycle here. Yeah, and we have the Queen of Wands as we split the deck, and we saw that underneath of that was the, the King of Wands. You guys are a true pair here. Passion, pleasure, and manifestation comes together. You guys have in, has set intentions for the energies of one another. Tell us about the energy of the Ace of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Page of Pentacles. Tell us about the Ace of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, the King of Pentacles and the Judgment card here. So it's like this higher this higher sense of understanding, following your intuition, following your, your higher self, this higher guidance as it relates to this new opportunity, taking a chance and feeling confident in that chance that's being taken here. And assessing and realizing that this is, this is like an assessment. <clears throat> it's, an, it's assessing and realizing that this is the right move. Bottom of the deck, Eight of Swords, King of Swords, Page of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like this person has, they've thought about who, what, when, where, why they feel this way. And I feel like they're ready to break free and, and take charge because you have Page of Pentacles here twice. This person's ready to do something new. They're ready to take on this opportunity. Yeah, Three of Pentacles, Lovers at the top of the deck. This is something that they want to work on with you. This is a new relationship a new union coming into play anything else for capricorn sun moon rising venus and jupiter yeah eight of wands and it's coming in quite quickly it's almost as if someone is going to announce this this is like a huge announcement of sorts judgment and eight of wands somebody is announcing this And somebody has made the choice in choosing somebody else here. Wow. Mm. We'll use Kipper here. Show us more for Capricorn. Show us more for Capricorn, please, Spirit. We have the child. Main female. <clears throat> Somebody's um, innocence at childhood as it relates to what they deserve, what they're good enough for, it was taken from them 
at a very early age. And it's almost as if someone made them feel in their life that they weren't good enough for something. They didn't deserve something. This is coming from a feminine energy or feminine quality, or it could be a female that has affected you in this way. We have cough in the house with high honor. I feel like there's a significant change here that's coming into your life regarding this. And it has a lot to do with how you set your intentions and how you manifest life into existence for whoever this is for. Yeah, great fortune. It's like you have been destined for greatness. But you have to believe that. And this has a lot to do with the overcoming of the shadows and the dark energy that you guys have been dealing with for quite some time. Yeah, you're moving into a new direction. And I feel like this is actually changing your lineage here. This is changing your genetic makeup. I love this for you, Capricorn. Let's get some closing messages here. An invitation is coming, we have older man. Show us more here for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter and the closing messages, please, Spirit. Show us what we need to see here for Capricorn and the closing messages here, please, Spirit. Bottom of the deck is deep spiritual connection here. Show us what we need to see here in the way of Capricorn closing messages. We have the heart. Definitely a lot of love involved, love involved in this situation, Capricorn. This is definitely about a connection or relationship that you guys will be involved in or dealing with. <laughs> New sexual partner at the bottom of the deck there. Show us more here for Capricorn. Act now, think later, and your soulmate is not who you think it is. And I feel like this could have a lot to do with those of you who are breaking, yeah, change in living situation, breaking away from things that no longer serve you and the feelings that have kept you trapped and stuck. We've got online dating that wants to come out and a whole other stack of cards that fell. Hold on. Let's get one more here for Capricorn, please, Spirit. Look deeper. Something is hidden. Caution and drama queen. Wow. Capricorn, I'm going to leave these messages here. I hope you found it insightful. If you did, smash that like button, leave a comment down below. But don't forget to make sure your monkey butt is subscribed. And I will speak to you guys very, very soon.